Hello fellow mutants, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to talk about Star Wars teases the origins of Luke Skywalker's black, uh, Return of the Jedi outfit. And that's honestly, uh, immediately, part of me was wondering where, like, how Luke acquired that outfit, because that outfit, in my opinion, is the coolest outfit Luke Skywalker has worn. And, uh, I even have that outfit, too, as a cosplay. And, uh, I do have a Kingdom Hearts Star Wars crossover, so yeah. But, anyways, let's get into this, shall we? Um, in the years between, uh, Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, Luke underwent some changes. One of which was his choice of attire. In the first two films, he sports light-colored clothes. Though he he appeared at Jabba's palace in the third film, he wore all black. An example he wore throughout the film, the rest of the film. In a recent issue of Marvel Comics Star Wars series, a reference to Luke Skywalker's outfit served as a clever nod to the choice in outfit. Even the even if it outright confirmed his fashion sensibility. Star Wars number twenty eight is now in sale and this will contain spoilers to that, so if you guys don't want any spoilers, don't read this. Or don't listen to this. Let's begin. The current Star Wars storyline is taking place between the events of Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi with the latest Issue seeing Luke going on a comfort mission to rescue possible informants on Coruscant. Part of the mission involved him having to wear an outfit of an Imperial officer, which was all black. A fellow rebel pointed out that while it was shocking to see Luke in such an outfit, that he looks good wearing all black. As the Jedi looked down and took notice of the assemble, to say that this moment is in the comics is the sole reason that Luke decided to sport a black outfit would be a bit of a stretch, as the Jedi likely wouldn't be entirely concerned with their outfit if they were truly devoting themselves to the teachings of the Jedi, and Luke's positive reaction to the com comment is in conjunction with the narrative timeline of the series surely implies this was the least one important moment in regards to in regards to his garb. The only one this is the only one of the in of the ways in which the comic series has shed more light more insight into the events of the live action films with one of the bigger reveal Feels in the Star Wars series being the ways in which Queer and the Crimson Dawn have interrogated themselves, integrated themselves into the Galactic Civil War. With the series still unfolding, we have yet to learn the various ways in which the Crimson Dawn may have impacted the events of the original trilogy, which always present a challenge to comic book creators or comic creators as they are to elucidate on which we know without entirely contradicting it. And that's all we get. So it's essentially what this saying is that the reason why Luke Skywalker wore that black outfit in Return of the Jedi was because he got complimented when he was going undercover as an Imperial soldier saying, you know what, you look good in black. You can look good in all black. So, I thought it was going to be more than that. I thought it was going to be because, like, since Anakin was one of those Jedi that didn't wear the traditional brown... Jai gear 
Luke was wearing that uh, his black outfit as a partial nod to his father. Having some sen- uh, sentimental value to his um, color scheme. But nah, it was literally just because he went on an undercover mission. And someone comments and saying, you look good in all black. And mainly that's kind of lack- like, like, I should say lackluster. But that was kind of like an underwhelming um, explanation to the one I had in my head. <laughs> in my opinion. But, uh. Hey, to reach their own, right? But what do you guys think of this explanation? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. And may the force be with us all.